Good afternoon, Viva MK. I hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. I know the inclement weather hasn't really helped our cause, but um, hey, I hope you're having a great week. So um, once again, I've uh, managed to pick up another book. Not because I've got nothing to say, it's just that lately I've been reading a little bit more. And this is Dare to Dream and Work to Win. And the only reason I'm going to talk about this, because it's so obvious. It's a lovely book, it's fantastic, and I'm sure many of you have read it. And if you haven't, it's worth a read. There's no doubt about it by Dr. Tom Barrett. However, the entire book, and it's a great book, is summed up in four four points and the four ingredients of success one determine what you want really number two decide what you're willing to reschedule or give up in order to get what you want really number three associate with people who help you get what you want number four have a plan that works and work that plan now in my humble opinion that's common sense and maybe it is the lack of common sense that stops us getting the success that we want or dreaming for what we really want to chase um, but for me that is straightforward common sense know what you want hang out with the people that can help you give up time to follow that which you would do anyway if you got the key to your kingdom sorted and have a plan i mean that those four points sum up that entire book and i'm not being derogatory to the book it's a fantastic book and it's worth reading dare to dream and work to win by dr tom barrow but it seems to me that it is just straightforward common sense that if you decide what you want and you truly know what you want in there and it has to be in there because those are the keys to the kingdom that we've been talking about for weeks now that the the, the plan behind it is the vehicle that you're working with or the vehicles that you are working with to get there and the rest falls into place of course it is because you'll put the action in when you want something so bad you'll put the effort in you will associate with people that can help you or companies that can help you and yesterday i quoted you know if people aren't laughing at your dreams then they aren't big enough do you know it's really bizarre that forever people laugh at people's dreams forever it's just common human nature i don't know why but it's generally underachievers that do that if somebody ever laughs at your dreams they're generally underachieving themselves because the real achievers will encourage you and they'll push you and they'll coach you and they'll mentor you. A real achiever would never, ever laugh at your dreams or tell you that you can't do it. Do you know, almost my entire life has been littered and I use the word littered on purpose because they've been left behind. My entire life has been littered with people and their ridiculous comments of it can't be done, you can't do it, it's not possible, there's no way that can be achieved. Rubbish! Absolute rubbish! And every single occasion, those people were underachievers themselves. Now the real doers, the real go-getters, the real successful people never laughed. They encouraged, they pushed, they motivated, they inspired and they coached every single step of the way. And you know, it's absolutely right. Sometimes you have to have those big dreams and people will laugh at them, but you will achieve them if you stay determined. And I know that book kind of spells it out, but it is common sense that if you want something bad enough, that it keeps you awake at night. And like I used to say in the olden days, but I don't use such, um, such uh, uh, comments anymore that if you got something big enough within your hands you won't go to sleep because it will keep you awake with the motivation and desire that you want something so bad um and and that's what it's about now i don't want to keep giving lessons on coaching because you know everybody knows these things but every now and again we need a reminder and this week's comments were sparked by somebody who uh, had a conversation with myself who said that they want to achieve x y and z but they're being mocked for it and people aren't encouraging them and my simple reply was you're hanging out with the wrong people to which the person replied well it's my partner and i guess 
what I should have said was, well, maybe your partner just needs to see what it is you're doing and understand that. Instead, what I did say, which may not have been appropriate, but you know, when have I ever said anything appropriate was get rid of your partner get one that understands what you want to achieve and encourages that because if there's anybody in your life that doesn't encourage your dream and what you do and this has nothing to do with Viva MK I'm just talking about dreams in general if there's somebody that doesn't encourage what you do whether they're a work colleague whether they're a family member whether they're a friend and they're usually friends whether they're partners I'm sorry but they don't have a place in your life, they don't. You either give up the dream of what you want to do or you stick with the people that are discouraging. So you have to make that choice. So to our business now, you know, in the early days, everybody said we couldn't do it. Every day, people said that it wasn't possible, it was never gonna happen. Generally, the underachievers, the clowns, the cynics, but generally people who weren't achieving a great deal themselves. So today, you know, we have 6,701 people registered within the business. Now, I'll clarify that in a minute because many networks talk about huge numbers, but we've got to work out what the numbers actually mean. Any company can say they have 10,000 people within it, but if the 10,000 people are doing bugger all, they have zero. So, but today we have 6,701 people registered within Viva MK. Now, any given time, and this is the figure that matters, this is the figure that really matters. In any given three month period, a quarter of them will regularly place orders. Now, so that really means the activity activity of our business is a quarter of the numbers. Now, that's common in network marketing. Don't let anybody tell you any other numbers because in network marketing, activity rates are normally between about 18 and 30%. And 30% people are very lucky to have those higher numbers. So at the moment, considering we've just gone through December and January, our activity rates over the last three months have been about 25% of our headcount. But you have to get the numbers in first to get that headcount. So we had to have the 6,701 people. Now that's still a phenomenal number, whichever way you look at it. Um, and 25% activity does change as the year goes on. So if in your business only a quarter of the people are currently active, that is actually good. It's actually okay. We've just gone through the quietest period that any business in retail has any given business in retail suffers during December, um, during January and the start of the year. And, and to, for us to have that kind of activity is fantastic. And of course, today is the last day of January. Um, as you know, there's lots of things happening in February and I'll talk about that in a moment. But the numbers are straightforward. 6,701 people registered, but the activity rate is what matters the most. And a quarter of our people at any given time over the last three months have done activity. Now that number will rise. Just to give you an idea of that, in my previous business, which is Clean Easy, of course, the activity rate, so you have some perspective in this, was about 23%. Um, so, you know, this, this is the business we're in. The point I was trying to make wasn't about the activity rates. It really was about the fact that people didn't even think we would get as far as we have for whatever reasons they had. Maybe they just didn't have the vision. Maybe it was the attitude. Maybe it was their own personal personal belief, whatever it was, we did it and we're here today and we're at the last day of January. Now, the idea has been to build a sustainable business, you know, a, a long-term sustainable business, you know, a business that outlives us and creates um you know, it, it creates an ethos for people in the future to work part of this business. You know, I never wanted a business that was only going to last a few months. I didn't want a business that was only going to last a few years. What we want is a sustainable business that outlives and outgrows us. And that's what we want. I mean, our previous business was in nearly a hundred years old. So, you know, we want a business that outlives us all, is massively sustainable. So to that front, you know, I created a brand new network marketing plan with sustainability in mind. Have you all seen it? You've all heard about it. Um, and just to clarify, I said that it would be live between the 1st of February and 1st of March. I'll tell you now, it's not going to be 1st of 
February, it's going to be 1st of March. That's what we're aiming for. It's being programmed as we speak. And I'll also tell you that it will come with it um, lots of new features that we have been missing in our current system. And let me just tell you about the current system. I've always said, I'll be honest with you, the current system, which has already cost us in excess of £100,000, I'm only telling you that, not to brag about what the costs are, but really to keep this in reality. Software programming isn't straightforward. It's never easy. Um, we, we were desperate when we wanted the current uh, system that we have. And through that desperation, we went with expensive companies that could do it quickly. But of course, the downside of that always is going to be you have to have what you're given because you have no choice. There are no choices. And when somebody's done three quarters of your programming, you can't just scrap that and go back and choose somebody else. But what we're going to do with the new network marketing plan is going to be a new system of requirements that have kind of been missing in our current system. Things that will help you run your business. And I'll give you a full list of those as weeks go by and before we launch. And, you know, you've been very, very helpful in telling me in the things that it should include and the things that have been missing, missing simple things like statements, simple things like just working out who's doing what, you know, simple reporting procedures and things that you desperately need to run your business, which we all thought were going to be part of the current system. I'm not going to be derogatory to that. It's, be, it's had a lot of time, money and effort put into it, but it hasn't delivered exactly what we wanted. So you're going to get an entire... Um, system backing up the new network marketing plan, but it will be 1st of March and I'll update you on that every single week. So the business today at the end of January is in the healthy state that I expected it to be in. Um, whoever's using the new beginnings catalogs, you're getting results. We've got a plan for a new catalog to come out, which I've told you about, which you will get at the showcase. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, so currently today, we have 350,000 new beginnings catalogs out in circulation already. And by that, I mean, you have either ordered or achieved through incentives, 350,000 singular catalogs, which theoretically are out in doorsteps somewhere or out being delivered. And that's, again, a phenomenal amount of catalogs. This catalog was only actually launched on the 17th of December. So at the end of January, we have hit 350,000 doorsteps, aside from the ones that are still propping up your beds or they're propping up the kitchen table. The rest are out there doing what they do, because as we've always said, a catalog is a salesperson. It's absolutely no good sat at home. It's only useful when it's out there with the customers. These are your shops. So currently, like I've said, irrespective of where they are, 350,000 individual New Beginnings catalogs have left our warehouse. So wherever they are, only you know that. And put into that the Essentials 2 catalog, which is also in circulation, and the, the, the last remains of the last beauty book, which we didn't reprint, um, is also out there. So there's a lot of catalogs, a lot of exposure out there. And on the back of that, a 25% activity with 6,701 people registered in the program as we speak today. So, you know, we're building a business, a play pay plan and a structure that will have sustainability. Always remember that word, sustainability. You know, most of us came from a business that was almost 100 years old. Okay, so things went wrong towards the end, but those 100 years of almost phenomenal success from day one. And that's what you call a sustainable business. Okay, it couldn't last forever. But Sometimes these things happen in commercial business. So today we're at this position where we have this really fortunate position where we can dream big and we can build a business that is going to be sustainable. Now, like I've said to you, it's the last day of January today. Everybody knows that we're heading into February tomorrow. Well, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? So it's February the 1st tomorrow and February is obviously going to bring us big things. Um, it mainly that our activity rates naturally go up in February. So there's more activity out there. And as you know, for those of you using New Beginnings, you are getting good results. We've got some phenomenal orders coming coming in uh, and that's really good for businesses, good for exposure. Add to that the fact that in three weeks on Sunday, we have our first ever um, Viva MK New Beginnings showcase. And for those of you that know me, which is most people here, you know, 
collectively we've done many showcases we've met at many events you know for years and years and years we've been doing events and we've been part of the event structure because you know the importance of being in front of people it's vitally important that you can see people and you can you, you can talk to them face to face now for years we've done these events but um i have to say you know I'm feeling more nervous about this event than I've probably ever felt ever before. And we've addressed audiences of up to six to 7,000 people before at the NIA. And yet here we are, we've sold in excess of 500 tickets. And I'm today as nervous of any, as any of our speakers about the event in general, not because I believe that I'm going to cock it up at every given second, which as you also know, for those you know you, I'm very good at doing, and I don't even try, it just happens. Uh, it's not that, it's just that it's our first one. It's probably the most important one we'll ever do because I've never ever had the opportunity to do a first event for a brand new organization. And that in itself has an element of nervousness about it. You know, we, we, we're gonna have a room full of people that really want to be there, many, many pioneers of the business, many people that have been there from the beginning. Um, but the one thing is for sure that the people there um, are the people that put the business together. I know some can't be there. I don't want to be derogatory to those. You know, there's many people in the organization that's helped us get here today where we are. But on that day, on the 24th of February, is going to be a room full of people that have built the business where we have it today. So February is a big month for us. It's a big month with a new catalog coming up. It's a big month with increased activity rates. It's a big month that leads into the brand new network marketing plan and it's also our first ever event and I, as I said you know after doing events for many years many 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 events you know probably into their hundreds where there's small opportunity meetings or huge arena conferences I can't believe I've, I feel as nervous as I do about this one and all for good reasons you know uh, uh, events are important but this one is more important than anything that any of us have ever been to or any of us have ever staged. And the idea is to give you an event that you won't forget. And not just because I will make cock ups and say the wrong words and, you know, let out things that I really didn't want to let out. Not because of that, but I want it to be an unforgettable event because I want you to be able to say one day that not only were you there at the beginning, but you were there at our first ever event and for that reason alone i believe it's going to be a phenomenal event not because i'm going to do anything spectacular or spectacularly bad to make it happen just because by default it is our first one i've never done a first conference or showcase for anybody and i suspect many of you have never ever been to a first event for a brand new company ever before so february is going to be a huge month for us um i'll tell you more about our catalog plans as the weeks go on in february because as i keep telling you yes we have an online presence and we're going to build that um but our initial and main presence is still catalogs otherwise why would there be 350,000 of them already in circulation of a catalog that was only released on the 17th of December we went through the whole Christmas period when as you know not a great deal happens between the 17th of December you can easily knock out two weeks but to have that many in circulation and they're still going out every single day shows we have an, an exposure in the business it also shows that catalogs work it also shows that people want catalogs it also shows that the business is built on the foundation of catalogs and on the foundation of people like you that have joined us not just from the beginning but in our first few months making our business today what it really is now talking of the showcase and you know i don't mind some interaction here not necessarily right now you can talk to me separately or you can interact with it now by the way hello to everybody that is watching i, I don't often pick out individuals because i can't often see the screen from here because of course my eyesight is appalling <laughs> that's why which probably explains some of the ties and things but that's 
Anyway, hello to everybody. I've just seen Bob Hardy there. Hello, Bob and Kathleen Carolyn. Very nice to see you. And that's only because I really lent in. I can't normally see names, which is why I don't often say hello to people individually. Anyway, there'd be too many. So, as you know, in previous businesses that we've all been in, we've had sets of trophies and we'll introduce those as time goes by. We used to have a trophy for the highest retailer. We used to have trophies for general group sales. We used to have trophies for collective sales in bigger groups of people, you know, various trophies, VIP, executive ones, and for various levels. Now, we're probably too soon to introduce a whole range of trophies, but we will have those in time to come. If any of you believe that for this showcase, we should have one specific trophy then start that conversation start talking about it listen if you are really the 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 pioneers of this business then as pioneers and as people working together let's think of something because the day is going to be all about celebration and yes I want to celebrate high retailers yes I want to celebrate people who've had success yes I want to recognize people that have gone up the existing sales plan yes I want to recognize people for special contribution but if you feel there's something that needs to be specifically recognized on the day, then let me know. You know, there's no reason why we can't already have a distributor of the year. In my humble opinion, it's almost absolutely everybody. I'd have to give a trophy to absolutely every single pioneer that has helped to put even a single order into the business to build what we have. So if you have any views on that, do let me know because, you know, it's almost like I want the people's choice for a people's award in the people's business. And to me, that makes perfect sense because I didn't always get the trophies right in the past. Um, so let's let's think of something and come back to me on that. You've all got my email address. And if you haven't, I don't mind how many emails you bombard me with. That's what I'm here for. MK at Viva MK dot com. You can't really forget that. Um, but start that conversation and, and let's do something that the people collectively are thinking about. Um, in respect to the business in general, like I've said, we are in a healthy state today. It will be 1st of March before I launch um, the new pay plan. Leading up to that, I'll tell you some of the new activities and actions that you'll be able to do within that plan and that new system, which will help with not only recruitment, because the one thing that has been missing from our plan, and thank you, Steve Gurgle, for pointing that out today. Uh, you, you know, you've really helped me along the way as well, is the ability to simply Simply send a recruitment link out to people who want to join. That is a vital statistic that's available in many, many companies. And I want the now is that you simply send a link out and people join just like that with your credentials already within that link. Now, that is something we're working on that will associate the new launch alongside many other simple things. And, you know, as I said, many of you have been very helpful in that and I really appreciate it. We can't accommodate absolutely everything because we'd have a thousand reports and some really ridiculous ones, but we can try and accommodate the things that I think and we think collectively that really should be in there. And those are ones we're programming and trying to get ready. But, you know, it's evolution. We said it was a new beginning. It's almost like an evolution. Um, so much is changing with the launch of the new catalogue with the new beginnings, which has seen a new genre of customer come on and a new genre of spending and a new genre generally of response. People are, have welcomed it with open arms. Um, yeah, you know, we the, the, the team did an exceptional job of putting that together and the speed that they put it together. The, the second version, which is now we've had to do a reprint because there's already so many of them out there. And that's corrected some of the challenges we had in the first one. So even there's even evolution within that singular catalog that we've been able to correct some of those things, partly because we've sent out so many. Um, so yes, we're in a healthy state. Yes, we have a lot of catalogs out there. Yes, there's a load more to come your way. Yes, I'll give you a road plan, um, a roadmap of forthcoming catalogs so you can try and do some planning within your business. And yes, you know, I want a sustainable business that builds a sustainable level of leadership. Today, yes, we have some leaders in the business. Of course we do. But in respect of um, sustained 
powerful leadership that comes over a five year period. You know, you want to look back in five years and many of the people listening now are in the position to be our leaders of the future, to have that level of leadership. And you need that in network marketing for coaching and mentoring and inspiration. You really do need that as opposed to just a flat um, commission structure. So I guess at the last day of January, we've got, we've got through one of our quietest months Activity rates are still good. Um, the potential for that is massive because we've got so many individual catalogs going out. February, I kid you not, is going to be an incredible month for us in every single way. Not only the launch of our brand new health and beauty, and again, thank you for all your comments on that, but our first ever showcase demonstrating to the world where we've come from in such a short period of time, but most importantly, where we intend to go. And on on that day, I will discuss with you as much of our planning and strategy to go forward because you need to know, you need to know what oh, not only what can we do, what we want to do, but what we are collectively capable of doing. And there you go. Thank you for listening. Have a fantastic week. Be safe out there for God's sakes. You're all valuable in this business, um, not just in this business, but to yourselves and your family as well. So please be safe. And I look forward to speaking to you very soon. And come on, February, bring it on. The rest of the months have been good to us, but February, I think is going to be a crowning month for us. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you soon.